Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe down below. Give this video a like, and if you're the first person to comment on this video, you will get a shout out in my next video, so don't miss out on that. When you subscribe, you're automatically entered to win my 500 subscriber giveaway. Last night we made it to 498, so, I mean, like, I, I don't know, I don't know why you wouldn't subscribe, because, like, I mean, <clears throat> it's your choice, but like, are you making the wrong one? Like, do you need to just hit that subscribe button and and be cool like the rest of us? Or like, do you think, do you really think just sitting there and not subscribing is a, the right thing to do? Because I don't, I mean, it's up to you. I don't know which video is going to go up first, but we're going to use the last ColourPop palette out of the bunch that I won in Jennifer Metcalf's giveaway. Um, she did a 100 subscriber giveaway and I just so happened to win it and I I love the palettes. I think they're gorgeous. We used to be friends back in the day and we kind of had a falling out and when I won she sent me this or she put this cute little note in it because we actually have been reconnecting and I just I'm so grateful for that um, I'm going through a kind of a tough time and I recently lost a friend not anything like bad but I just kind of realized that she wasn't good I just kind of realized that they weren't good to have in my life so I got rid of them and um, I am so grateful that I am finding friends that are actually worth having as a friend so check out her channel I will leave a link or something I will put her channel up on the screen somewhere thank you to Jennifer Metcalf Stephanie Martin Miss Bennett and Rebecca Martin for commenting on my video last night I really appreciate your guys' support it means the absolute world to me and you guys will never know like how big of an impact you guys are making because every like dislike s subscribe comment all of that helps me out because one it lets me know what you guys like to see but for two it lets youtube know what you like to see so keep it up guys i really appreciate it we're so so close i'm going to be using the last palette from the giveaway that I won. It's called Aha uh -huh, Honey. And I'm going to go into Buzzkill. I'm going to take that in the inner corner and drag it like that. Now Jennifer is doing another giveaway when she hits 200 su subscribers. This one was for her 100 subscriber giveaway and I got three palettes. So um, if you're interested in free stuff and then also like videos like I make, uh, you might want to go check her out because I mean, free stuff and then make uh, videos that you enjoy like can you beat it? Okay, we're going to go into Sweet Spot. I've known her since middle school and we used to be really good friends and we had a falling out a little while back and we are just now reconnecting because we both have YouTubes and um, she started like right after I did and at first I was kind of jealous but then I was like 
this would be a perfect opportunity to reconnect and see how she's doing and uh, try and help her out because she was a really good friend and we should always be building people up anyway. We should never try and tear them down regardless of your feelings towards somebody. I don't care if you absolutely hate someone. You should always say something positive because you never know what's going on in their life and you never know. <laughs> you could say something nice and it could change their whole day or their feelings towards you. But, um, yeah, we used to be really close and I, I told her all of this. I was like, you know, when I found out you were starting YouTube, I was kind of jealous. And then I heard out what your channel was going to be about and I was even more jealous. I was a little salty and I was like, then I realized, you know, there's room for all of us. It's not like I have to have my YouTube and no one else can do it. It's also not like I'm this original creator who's thought of something no one else has thought of, you know, like, so it's not like this idea is mine to just be a YouTuber. I'm the first person on the earth to think of becoming a YouTuber. False. And so after I got out of that mindset, I was like, well, you know, if we're, if we're going to be doing it together, I feel like we're, you know, both be on YouTube. There's no reason why we can't help each other out. There's no reason why I can't shout her out every once in a while, especially since she's just starting and yeah ever since then we talk like we used to <laughs> we have a lot in common it's really really nice especially if you watched a few videos of mine a couple weeks ago um i was really having trouble because i decided to take a friend out of my life who wasn't being a very good friend. And like, totally didn't miss the friendship because she never was there. I didn't miss the friendship because they were never there for me, but just the security of having that person which I really didn't have that security anyway because they were never there, but in my head, it was there. If that makes sense, like, I rationalized the fact that we've been friends for so long. If I ever needed anything, she'd be there. And then, like, the one time I call her, thank God I didn't need anything she didn't know who I was and couldn't help me out or do anything for me. She just hung up on me. So really it was a good thing that I didn't need anything because um, she wouldn't have been any help. They wouldn't, have, they wouldn't have been any help to me because they, they literally hung up before they even knew if I needed anything. So, you know, it's just, it's life. But like I said, I am so glad I reconnected with, with Jennifer because we were really good friends and to have somebody in my life that like, even if we don't see each other, you know, we both make an effort to talk to each other. We both make an effort to like try and do things, whether it's, you know, just a picture or, um, she showed up to my daughter's third birthday party and we literally just started talking again like a couple months ago so you know she really didn't have to do that but I greatly appreciate it. I want to be a part of her life and her daughter's life and uh, the only way that we're going to be able to do that is if you know, we put in the effort, which is hard for both of us because we're both introverts. Like, 
we can be social, we just don't like to be. Sometimes I get anxiety over it, but I can still be social. If I really, really need to be. Then I'm going to go into dandy just a little bit in the center. But I am so happy that we've started talking. It's It's almost like we've never like gotten out of touch, which, you know, we did for a while, but it doesn't feel that way. Like we just reconnected and like the day we started talking, like the day we started talking was crazy because it was, it felt like we had never stopped talking ever. And like, I'm, I'm, a, I've always been the friend that doesn't have much, like, really doesn't have much, but I will give you the clothes off, off my back if you need them. I'm fucking this wing up bad. But she's also the same exact way, so, like, I don't know. It just it feels so nice to have a friend back in my life that I never wanted to lose in the first place. But uh, now that I'm done with my rambling, I'm going to go ahead and do my other eye and my face makeup off camera, and I will be right back. We're going to go into Buzzkill first. We're going to go into Buzzkill. So I don't know if my brush wasn't cleaned off or what, but this side looked normal until I put this side on, and now this is like what I wanted this side to look like, and I'm like, why is this so green? I thought I cleaned off my brushes. Apparently not. I didn't, like, wash my brushes. I did, like, a color switch type thing. But the side that um, came out really pretty came out, like, really pretty. Like, it is exactly what I was going for, so... And could we possibly do a look and a palette with glitter without using the glitter? And now, so what we're gonna do, so let me take some glitter glue. I haven't even decided where I want it, but I know I want glitter, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, I think what I'm gonna do see how this looks. We're going to take Palooza in the middle here and kind of I just kind of want it to be like a messy gradient on top of the cut crease. I don't want anything really uniform or anything about it. I just kind of want a messy, glittery top half. Right there. How's that look? I think it's pretty. Okay, let's do the same thing to the other eye. Again, this side come out so much cuter. in our waterline, this up above, mascara, it has been a long, long, long week. That's gorgeous. And then we're gonna take, I think we're gonna take mannequin. 
I was thinking of going hot pink on the lips, but then I was like, I don't know if that tone will match. Like, I don't mind doing a bold lip, I just don't know how well it would match. So, like, I don't know. But I did want to do, like, a bright hot pink. You tell me, would that have been better? Do you think that would look really good? Or do you think, like me, with the, the browns and the yellows, might not have looked so great? Alright. That is it, guys. That is the finished look. I'm sorry if you saw something you did not want to see. These armpits are... Yeah. That is the finished look, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Remember, when you do, you are automatically entered to win my 500 subscriber giveaway. And last night, I made it to 498 subscribers. Ugh. I haven't checked today, so I probably lost one or two. But... I mean, this arch on this eyebrow is like all the way up here, and then this one's like, Meh. it's just hanging out. My eyebrows are never even. Like, I look like I'm like inquisitive of what's going on. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. Remember, if you're the first person to comment on this video, you will get a shout out in my next video, so don't miss out on that, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.